Hello everyone, Roby here, and today I'll be showcasing Ark Survival Ascended on the Lenovo Legion Go. And even though I actively play this game, I haven't had the opportunity to actually show how it runs on the Lenovo Legion Go or any other handheld um, PC like my Steam Deck. And so one of the cool things here is that yesterday Wildcard released Scorched Earth. And so we'll go ahead and take a look at how it runs to see if there's been any improvements to how it runs on um, handheld PCs. Now, to as we normally start, I'll sh go ahead and show what settings I have on my Lenovo Legion Go. And so I have my Lenovo on custom settings. I have it um, performance on custom, um, thermal mode on custom 30 watt TDP, which is what it's showing right here. And this is my um, fan curve right here. And also I have OS power mode on performance. And then I also have resolution set to um, 800, um, 800p. Refresh it at 60 Hertz. Uh, frame monitor off because it doesn't work properly. And RSR enabled. And so we'll go ahead and start the game. And so we are going to go to create a resume. We have Scotch Chat enabled, which is one of the um, which is the map I was talking about. We're gonna go into single player. We're just gonna go with default settings. We're well, not gonna alter the single player settings at all. So it's not gonna be booster or anything like that. It's just gonna be pure um, default mode there. And so the game takes a little bit, um, takes a little while to load. Oh, yep, that's typical Scorch there right there. I already have um, Raptors on me. Okay, let's go ahead and um, go to one of the easy areas, which is Midlands East. We'll go ahead and um, respawn. And you can see the FPS counter on the top right here. And so right now I'm getting that on our Raptor. Oh boy. Yep, this is definitely scorched. I remember this very well. And I'm dead again. <laughs> but so far it seems to be um holding up pretty well. Let's go to a different area here. Let's go to three and respond there. Okay, and so before I get attacked by another raptor, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings I have for Scorched Earth real quick. And so we are going to go over to video. And as you can see, I have a uh, resolution set to 800. Um, 800p, it's full screen. Max frame is locked at 60. Um, Anti-aliasing at native. Uh, resolution skill at 100. I could bump that down a little bit to improve performance, but I prefer the visual fidelity there. And as you can also see, I'm not using any DLSS mod at all. And so it's just stock um, Arc Survival Ascended. And in the graphics side here, I have everything bumped down uh, considerably. And so I'm using um, custom presets, which is a mixture of low and medium settings. And as you can see here, I'll bring it closer to the screen so you guys can see. I have it set to advanced graphics low, View distance low, textures medium, post processing low, general shaders low, global illumination quality is medium, effects quality low, foliage quality low. I turn up motion blur, that's just a personal personal preference of mine. Uh, light bloom and live shots off, low light enhancement off, enable full age and fluid interaction on, and that's really everything there. And so I'll go back. And go ahead and resume. And so let's go ahead and walk around and run. I can see, apart from the starters here and there, it actually runs pretty well and it also looks pretty good on handheld. Ooh, I have this box on me. Yep, this is definitely Scorched. Uh, one of the first maps I ever played on Ark, uh, or at least when I first got into Ark, was Scorched. So it was Trial by Fire. And as you know, Ark is definitely a survival game where everything that can kill you wants to kill you. And so let's go ahead and let's go to South 
three, which is on that easy reader, on a spawn there. I can see the FPS counter is hovering between 26 to 30 or 31 FPS, which isn't too bad. Considering how demanding ARC can be, um, one of the things I'm hoping for is that they optimize the game a little bit more. I just spawned my guy and he's already on me. <laughs> well, let's grab some stuff and just hightail it out of here. So I'm just going to run. Let's see how the performance is while you're moving around. Again, see performance went down to 24. It's on 27, 31. I wish performance was a little bit more stable. Oh, I'm out of um, stamina. As you can see, actually, it's not so bad at all. I haven't gone into the command line there to remove the skybox or anything like that. I left everything as default. And those bugs won't let me be. So I'm just going to run again. Let me actually let me dive in the water and see if they're going to follow me in here. I doubt they will, though. There we go. And it's not running bad at all. It's actually running pretty good. And that's why I'm on the map. Let's go ahead and take a look at our character over here. We have a few points that we can apply. And so those are all the new changes to the game in regards to cosmetic options and stuff like that. Yeah, and so this is it though. This is um, Ark Survival Ascended. I won't keep this video any longer than I should. Um, if you guys are into survival crafting games, this is definitely a, a good game to get. Now, if you're trying to play it on a handheld PC, um, it plays decent. Um, I'll say it's it's comparable to consoles, I guess. Even I don't really play the game on consoles though, but it plays pretty well. I just have to get used to the occasional start again there, and the game looks pretty good. And there's a terror bit. I remember this, guys. And so, um, that's it, guys. That is Ark Survival Ascended with the Scorched Earth um, map on the Lenovo Legion Go. And with that, guys, peace.